Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be doing an absolute related video on what is currently wrong at the club. So I'm going to be talking about the management, tactics, how we're playing and where we are all of that as well. But yes guys, if you're new, make sure to like and subscribe. It's been like a month since I've uploaded, yes I know. Um, it's kind of been tough. Uh, I've been in a uh, lockdown, uh, isolation, so it's been tough to really think of things while I'm feeling quite ill as well. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So, Epsilon currently sit 11th in the table with 4 wins, 3 draws, 3 defeats. We scored 14 goals, we've conceded 13, and that gives us a goal difference of 1. We've played 10 games, we've only picked up 15 points. Bearing in mind, we should be up there near the top of the table, or that's where we was predicted at the start of the season. But there's a thing that I'm thinking that's happened this year. So basically, um, a Maystone fan told me this, yeah, it was quite weird. Um, when they got relegated from the Van Rama National League, oh, that was a very good day. Um, they brought in a lot of players, but it didn't work out at the start because they were obviously, it's hard to gel. You either... You either go down and you, you know, you buy all these players and you do really well, or they don't gel, you don't do too good, and then the first season's not always the best season, which I think we've currently got. Bearing in mind, you know, there's still a lot of the season left to play, but with these ten games that we've played and we've also got some games in hand as well, it's not looking too good. Some more worrying news, we've only actually picked up one win at home this year, which was against Hungerford when we won 3-2, which uh, a team that is up there as well. We've only picked up two draws at home as well, and then we've also got two defeats at home, which isn't too good, because uh, Dennis Kutcher have said that he tries to make Stonebridge Road a fortress. Well, don't look like it when we've only picked up one win at home. Away from home, we've actually been okay. Three wins, one draw, one defeat. So it's not too bad there away from home. However, this can be very worrying. We've only picked up five points from the last five games, which is uh, not too good for us. Bearing in mind, we should be up there near the top, uh, you know, in the playoffs at least. That's what we want this year. And uh, it's not working out currently. So now I'm going to go on to my thoughts on what I think is particularly wrong at the club. I think, first of all, the tactics. We cannot play passing around the back it just doesn't work out in non-league I no offense to the players but is there any players really in non-league that can do it not really only it barely even works for Premier League side so it's not going to really work in non-league either the other thing is we need to have a couple more shots on goal when we play we have good spells but we need to have more shots on goal create more chances I know sometimes it's quite hard because they try to sit back they know we're you know a bigger we've got the better players kind of for some teams and they'll sit back they will they'll make it difficult for us but sometimes you just got to have that pop at goal not that one extra pass it just sometimes it's so annoying that we're passing it so much it, the play sometimes is really nice it's just that one pass that maybe we don't need to do or we could just have a shot on the edge of the area and then you know it even even if it goes 50 yards wide or something, it, it gives you momentum. It keeps wanting you to go forward and then maybe get that goal. So I think that's particularly wrong with tactics-wise. Also, don't make so many changes to the squad. I, I, we've had like we had Holmes in like last week. We've had had the room for the last two games. I know that's the FA Trophy. But the defence particularly, we keep changing it up. We just need, I know we've got a big squad, but sometimes... If you change the squad too much, it's going to, you know, it's, it makes the defence a bit weak. And that's what it's been recently. We, um, we've we conceded five to Dagenham. I know they're a bigger, you know, league above. But still, we shouldn't really be conceding five. And uh, obviously, they've got a great striker in Paul McCallum. A uh, very good striker for non-league. He could be going up to the Football League anytime soon. I think he definitely deserves it. But we need to be more, what's it, good defensively. And I, I don't think it's... We've got the we've got the players too. We just need to you know learn a bit better. Keep that back line the same. We playing Wood out of position because personally Wood is either a left back or playing as a left mid. Personally, I like him as a left mid, and he's actually been a very good player recently. Um, I actually quite like him quite a bit. But we playing him at centre back, which was a bit weird. Um, I think personally, our back four should be Taylor, Rowan. Karahaman and then Toby Adebel Rowling. Now, I haven't seen Ben Framper in a long, long time, so I don't know what's happened that. Could be an injury or something. But maybe 
maybe he's not the player that we need. Uh, I think we do need a centre back going into uh, January. Obviously, there's not there's not really a transfer window in non league. We you you know you can sign players whenever you like on the free transfer and that. So, but I think at the, this time we do need to get a centre back in definitely someone that can uh, partner up with um, Rowan. I think Karahaman he's good. He, he he definitely makes those good passes. But I think Rowan is that better centre back. And we've got quite a young defence as well. Taylor's like around twenty six, something like that. Tony Adamo Rowling quite young as well. And then you've got Rowan and Karahaman, both around 23. So it is quite a young back four. The other thing is, though, I I was p particularly a bit surprised about the appointment of Denis Kutriep. Fair play to him. He, he's done OK at the start. I know it's hard, obviously, going from Germany to England. But at the start of the season, you were thinking, oh, we, oh when... Kevin Watson was going to get sacked. Do you think you we would get like a, a non-league veteran like um, Chris Kinnear? I know he's not managing anyone currently, but someone that you know knows non-league very well and can get us up, get us promoted. You know, in the first two seasons or something. However, Dennis don't really too, know too much about the league, which uh, obviously you know from Germany he's watching videos, but. It's not really, you know, helpful. Like, OK, you can see how they play. But of course, they're going to change it every week. That's what teams do. So here are some fans' thoughts on what is currently wrong at Ebbsfleet. Hello, mate. Hope you're well. Um, thanks for having me on. Um, what do I think is the problem with Ebbsfleet? Um, it's a good question. Um, uh, you know, I'm sure you'll know, and anybody that's watched the streams, that I've not been a fan of Coot Trip. Um, even after the first couple of weeks, wasn't a fan of him, you know, and was even, you know, going as far as calling for him out to go out. I think after, you know, even before the Billericay game, which you know was was a couple of months, you know, a month ago or so, um, you know, even though we'd won some of the some of the games, I still think we're not we're not playing well. The performance has not been good. Um, if we're winning games, we're struggling to win them. Um, I think it all comes down to this this. Um, it's playing out from the back, you know. I watch Premier League teams do it, and you know sometimes you see them make mistakes. So I don't know how he's come in and and thought, um, you know, we're gonna we're gonna be able to do it here. Um, you know, I, I, you know, fair play to him for trying it, but I don't think it's worked. I think he needs to revert to a different system, um, and I think this is why I would have rather had a more experienced manager come in, someone that's more experienced in this country, that's played in you know, that's that's managed in the National League and the National League South, that knows how to get us back into this National League. Because this is an important season for us. We should, you know, we should be fighting and, and up there, you know, to try and to try and get up up this year and, you know, if we don't get playoffs I think I think Kuchu could be in trouble. Um you know, so how do we improve I think, like I said, we need to we need to um, we need to stop playing this football. You know, he needs to find a different system. I think he needs to to find a you know he's he's starting in eleven because I feel like he's been too nice to all of the players. We've got a big squad this year, and I feel like he's trying to give everybody game time and trying to keep everyone happy. I mean, realistically, you can't do that. You know, there's players at this football club. I'm not going to start saying names. Um, you know, I'm sure you know, and you know everybody else knows. You know who they are, but there's five or six players that, that shouldn't have even been signed for this club. You know, they shouldn't even go anywhere near the starting eleven, and they're getting minutes. You know, I thought he was excellent for part uh, in parts against Chippenham, and then he goes and changes five or six, five or six of the players against Dagenham, and changes the formation. And I just go, you know, what is he doing? And, and I think we deserve to. To lose to Dagenham, you know, after watching the highlights, I thought it was terrible, you know, defensively poor. So I think he really needs to go back and have a rethink and, um, you know, just rediscuss. So the main question is, am I Dennis Kutryev in or am I Dennis Kutryev out? I personally am Dennis Kutryev in. I think he's done actually OK at the start. It's obviously, as I said, it's uh, quite a big move from going from Germany to England. So it is quite tough. I think give him a year. See how he does this year. Because as I said before at the start, it's hard because when you're relegated, you've got a full new squad. You didn't really know many of them apart from maybe one or two that he's known from Germany. It's tough. So he's he's had to build a new squad, try and get them all to gel together. And I think we're still in that gelling mode. We do need to, you know, obviously get better at defending, have some more shots on goal. But once we can do that, I do think we can really 
get on for a promotion push and hopefully get the playoffs. So yes guys, this is going to be the end of the video. If you're new, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and yeah, I'll see you guys later.